you've probably never seen anything quite like this. It sounds like Barry White has the jawline of Ivan Drago. It's like Tyson. Pulls like a freight train. It's coming. It's coming from high up in the mountains of Tennessee. Meet the wolf. Hunts Mustangs, Hellcats, and Camaros. Hey guys, welcome to the Backroad Driver channel. I'm Brad Miser. I'm Sam Miser. Glad you're here. Uh, you've seen a little bit of the truck now. Um, if this is your first time here, obviously we've got a name for this bad boy now. It had to get to a certain level before we could put a name on it. Right. People name their stuff willy nilly all the time. Yeah. You can't give something a mean name if it's not mean. This is the Wolf. It's the big older cousin to the Coyote. Obviously the Coyote is the engine. Uh, the 2.65 liter VMP Odin supercharger uh, takes that up a notch and gives it that wolf status. We're looking at 750 horsepower at the crank, 600 at the rear wheels, uh, zero to 60. And uh, granted, we're in the summer in Tennessee right now, which is not real hot, but it's muggy. So our yeah. DAs um, are really bad. We're like in the 4,000s right now. Yeah, it's terrible. And we've still hit a 3.5, zero to 60 on 33 inch Nitto Ridge Grapplers. What is this faster than? Well, it's the f as fast as a 2020 Shelby GT500. Look it up, it's 3.50 <laughs> to 60. And it don't stop after that. It gets so, a little sketchy when you get up in the 110, 120. So I'm not gonna say it'll smoke it in a drag right. race, but I'm it, not saying it won't. Out of the hole. <laughs> <laughs> if you put some drag, a drag pack on this, it may. Uh, let's, I wanna show you around the truck. Obviously you got to see it moving down the road, but we'll take a look at some of the, the cool stuff we've done. Um, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, like this video, but check out our other content because everything we've done to the truck so far has a video. Um, we've already done some road trips. We're fixing to do some more epic stuff, but we wanted to get the truck to this level, give it a name before we put it on the road and really put out our best stuff. It's uh, by no means done yet. <laughs> no. I mean, uh, it's probably 40,000 invested probably, at this point yeah. in, in mods. The truck yeah. was, you know, over 40, but there's a video on that, a first a first video on that. We've done probably another 15 or 20 since then. We probably need to do another money edition, but check that out too. So I'm gonna take you around a little bit and I'll let Sam explain some stuff. So what brand of bumpers are we working with? The uh, front of the truck has a Addicted Desert Designs uh, front bumper. It came powder coated black and we uh, had that taken off. We've slicked it up and done it in lead foot gray to match the truck. Um, it's got all these plates and bolt-ons for where the lights are. We left all that in the factory black. It may end up, it will end up getting something different, but obviously we had to clean up underneath everything. In there you can, you see peeking out a uh, Fox 2.0 shock. That's what we used to level the truck instead of just doing a puck. Front crash bars are gone. The rears are still in there, uh, so we are. Uh, still pretty safe, but uh, got to remove the front crash bars for this bumper. Custom red tow hooks. These lights are um, Baja designs. That one is fogged up, we know, and it's going to get replaced really soon. But you got some running, some orange runners there, and the, there's actually an orange glow behind those lights. I don't know how well it shows up on camera. Um, when you turn them on, and I'll go ahead and do that while we're here in the front. I've got this cool little trigger remote so that I can flip stuff on and off from outside of the vehicle. They're really, really bright. 
I call it daylight mode at night when you turn them on and that's only kind of off-road or when you're out on a back road and there's nobody around you can't really run those otherwise these point out to the side the cubes do we'll cut those um, Venom Rex wheels I won't go through every mod like we said because there's a lot of stuff here and you've got other videos you can watch for that but I do want to get around to the back bumper here this is probably I know it's one of one because Sam designed it Sam executed it had everything done it's probably the coolest thing now there's going to be some people that hate this because we lost our tow package we lost our spare tire which will carry a spare the spare tire was undersized anyway at this point so we'll carry a spare yeah. in the back of the truck um we may end up with some racks on it at some point this right here is awesome but take a look here what do we got sam this is a barricade bumper um it came black powder coated as well we had it painted to match and all of the areas on a bumper that would be black with your plastic on a a factory bumper we went ahead and made black for uh, effect here and um, you'll notice the exhaust back here that's totally custom rear exit um, we had this fabricated and um, it's all welded on pretty slick with uh, the quad tips in the back and um, you won't see another f-150 that has that in the world <laughs> We hope somebody likes us enough to do it. If you like this, let us know and we'll, we'll kind of walk you through what we did and it may be enough interest to do a video. The On this bumper, there were um, little, I guess, plates in there with yeah. like one little cutout yeah, where you yeah. could put a cube in, like our front cubes. I didn't like that. I didn't really need lights back here. And if I do, I'll put them behind that. Um, but we had that fabricated to have the punch holes in it. I think it looks really cool. For those of you who haven't heard this, we'll crank it up. Um, you are work, we've got stainless works headers. Uh, we're catless. We've got a Roush active exhaust system, and then it's custom. There's a lot of custom the stuff in there. The only thing left of the Roush active exhaust is the actual muffler itself and the valve. Everything else is, is, completely is, custom. is completely custom at this point. So <laughs> This isn't cold. We did just drive it over here, but I'll give it a crank up here remotely. back up a little bit so it doesn't blow out the speaker here. <laughs> Pretty nasty. It's one of my favorite things. So I'll cut this off. We had, um, I had a Raptor. I think it was an 18 Raptor. And then I got a 19 uh, Mustang GT with performance pack one on it and it was awesome i love driving it but i couldn't put the kids in it um, and so i wanted to make a truck that was faster than a mustang that would haul the family that would go to ball games better that i could do some off-roading in which has turned into a lot more than that we've probably went a lot further with it than i ever thought we would is this faster than a mustang gt it's faster than a mustang <laughs> gt by faster far. than a mustang anything will this beat a hellcat like just it's, not it's, the red eyed demon. Your, your uh, original Hellcat, I think, was 3.5 or 3.6, zero to 60. What I mean, about a Camaro ZL1 1LE? It's faster than that as well. Yeah. <laughs> so it's fun. I like mean, it's, it's it's not going to handle like those cars. No. I mean, maybe the Hellcat. Is the, It'll do yeah, burnouts but, and donuts better. I promise you that. If you've not seen any of our old videos, yeah. I promise you that. I'll promise you that. And it's a lot crazier to do it in a truck that, what do you think this weighs? We've actually net probably, we're probably where we work. Some, we've taken a lot of stuff off weight-wise. We've put a lot of stuff on. I think we're about neutral on the weight. Yeah. I mean, it's a four-wheel drive truck. Yeah. and Big, heavy, mean. Um, shameless plug. We're on Facebook and Instagram, too. Uh, but if you've not been on our channel before, we like to do, we like to push it. I mean, yeah, we do Ford stuff and uh you know we don't do exotics and lamborghinis and stuff but that's not really attainable it's not attainable to us it may be attainable to you you may love watching that stuff but if you want to see somebody push it to the limit with stuff that you could actually own that's attainable this is the channel for you um because i promise we'll never do anything boring we'll always be pushing the envelope to do the next big thing i did notice those rear tires still have some tread on them 
They got, that's got to go, man. This tread's got to go. Let's take care of that. <laughs> First time we did this, we thought the truck was on fire. <laughs> like something had blown up. <laughs> it's not. I don't know how it fills up so quick. I guess it goes up under and comes through the cracks or something, but pretty cool. It's still coming. <laughs> it may be on fire. It. it may be on fire. <laughs> nah, we're good. My son's ball stuff smells awesome now. <laughs> can hear the rubber sticking to my shoes. That's crazy. Subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Thanks for watching Back Road Driver.